And good evening, everyone, and thank you for staying up with us. We begin tonight with another milestone reached by the Yakima School District. The brand spanking new Zephyl Stadium and Downholder Track was dedicated today. And as Claudio Ramos tells us tonight, this was a long time in the making, and she has our big story. Like a lot of the athletes that will enjoy the new facility, the renovation of the Zephyl Stadium and Don Holder Track was a team effort. Thank you, uh, citizens of Yakima. Thank you, uh, the, the voters who uh, believed in us and um, all of the positive comments whenever we've had those struggles financially or getting things done. We've had many supporters that call and say, keep it going. We know that it'll work. The facelift at the stadium cost the Yakima School District nearly $4 million. Today, student athletes enjoy a new track, a synthetic turf football soccer field, new goalposts, and a new sports lighting system. It's an achievement they thought would never come. Plans for a major overhaul stopped when money ran out. You know, anything worthwhile is, uh, is worth persevering through, so it's been a long struggle. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've, we've reached this point, and uh, looking back on it now, those struggles weren't as large as the, they appeared at the time. The new stadium not only seats 5,000 fans, it's the only gender equivalent facility in the state of Washington. And it's even certified to meet the NCAA standards, opening up the possibility to host a college track meet in the near future. See the, the looks on, the, on the, the faces of the kids that come in here. They're just, you know, they're just in awe of the, the, of the entire facility. They've never been on something like this. And wait until this fall, when the final pieces will be complete. Just in time for football season. In Yakima, Claudia Ramos, Action News. And plans for hosting state track meets next spring are already underway. And coming up later in sports, Alan Sillens will have much more on this big day for Yakima athletes.